Hey there, Kara from Karen Cook Creative here. If you're new to me, we do done for you and DIY instruction for websites and all online business system needs. Today, I'm gonna to do a very quick YouTube tutorial to show you how to embed your newsletter sign up in the footer of any WordPress website. I should probably, I don't know, it should work for any WordPress website. I haven't tried it on all different themes, but this is something you can do, for instance, if you don't have a very easy to add, um, module in your WordPress developer. This is the way you can add it to your footer and make it so that it blends in nicely with your footer if your footer has a color to it, for instance. So I'll take you over my shoulder and show you what I mean and how to do it. So if we come to my website here, this is a podcast website that I have, and I want to add a subscribe feature here. I'm going to go ahead and generate that code in MailChimp. To do that, you want to come to sign up forms. You can get to sign up forms from audience usually, and there's a few other ways to get there. But if we come to sign up forms, we select that. We're going to see this. Embedded forms is where we want to go because we want to generate HTML code. One second, my child is calling me. So I'm going to pause the video and join you in a second. All right, so bear with me. Um, we had a big storm here. So my child's home and she wasn't supposed to be. I just wanted to get this video done. So this is the where you get the embed code for your signup form. There's a few different ways you can style it. It offers you condensed, looks like this, horizontal, looks like this, unstyled, not recommended, and advanced. So if we come back to classic or maybe condensed will look nice. What we want to do, I like to unsubscribe the, or uncheck the include form title. That way we can generate the title in whatever um, in the widget that we're creating in the footer instead. So it matches and looks uniform. So I'm going to go ahead and check that. And then I'm going to copy this code. I copy this code and I come over to the website. I need to access the widgets. And this might look different for everyone, depending on the theme that you use, you might have specific widget areas. Um, for instance, like footer part one, footer part two, footer part three for the columns in mine, all of them go in the footer and it's specified somewhere else in the theme that they'll go straight across the bottom. So this is column one, column two, column three. We're going to create column four. Excuse the background noise. It's not common for my videos. So text, select that. We're going to add it to the footer sidebar, add widget. So now if I come over here, we'll see it here. I'm going to add subscribe. And we're going to come for that visual view, but the text view, we're going to put it in here. Then we're going to look at what it looks like. So we'll see here as a default, WordPress likes to make this box white. Not what I want it to look like though. So instead, we're going to go back to the widgets and I'll show you how to make the background um, match the rest of whatever your footer looks like if you do not have a white footer. So I'll go back to widgets. and go back to the text view to edit it. Cause as you can see, this is not allowing me to edit text. And what we're looking for is background and the number and the color code. And that's right here. Background, we see number sign FFF, that means white. And we're gonna go ahead and delete that and hit none instead. So now it'll read like this. The other thing you might be able to do, I'm not sure entirely is change the button color. Let's see if I can see that code in here. It might not be in here. Do, 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 style. Yes, yeah, so it's not. All right, so we're not gonna be able to edit the button color here. Can likely do that in MailChimp itself, but this will at least remove the white background for you. Save it, go back and visit the site. All right. So now you can see this looks much better and in line. It's not the greatest fix in the world, but it's an easy way to get your MailChimp subscribed and added here. There's my cameo of my little kid. Um, a great way to get this added in here if you don't have an easy add feature as part of your WordPress theme. So hopefully that helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them below. And as always, if this video was helpful, please hit subscribe and like it. Thank you.